morning. California went into lockdown again yesterday, effective immediately. And a lot of the simple pleasures like getting a haircut or going to eat where you wanted to are now again restricted to Californians. And I don't know about you, but I feel like Nevada's right around the corner. When things like this happen, the lockdown initially, isolation nationwide, and then the slow easing of restrictions, and then the plunging back into isolation, it can wreak havoc with our emotions, with our fears, with our ability to cope. We get distracted. It's hard to concentrate or pay attention. And I think it's important to remember that the thing here, the, the focus of the governors right now is all for one and one for all. Three Musketeers knew how to do it. It's about thinking about our neighbor. It's about doing what's right for everybody, not just ourselves. When I was in the convent, almost 20 years, um, we were asked to do a lot of things that made like absolutely no sense to me. Small things, things that seemed to constrain and bind to curtail freedoms. And part of that was because we took a vow of obedience. The idea was that we surrendered our vision and our personal understanding of the direction of our lives to a larger entity. And we did that with trust. So we were asked to do things that put others first, really, that didn't necessarily try to break our spirit. That wasn't the point. It was in some ways to break our attachment to ourselves. Yeah, that's pretty profound. And you can't do that all at once, right? You have to work at that. Because as you grow through your middle school and teen years, young adult years, it's all about identifying who you are, self-identifying and building up the self, allowing the self then to stand in opposition to other selves. <laughs> and so you stand out, you learn how to identify, well, that's just my way of living. Well, in religious life, you surrender that ability and the point of everything becomes what is the good of the larger picture because now I don't live for myself I live in community I live among others who are trying to do their best and live their lives in the same way under the same kinds of freedoms and circumstances and focus so this is not by any means religious life but it taught me something and this if we let it will teach us something too. My way is not always the best way. My way is definitely not the only way. And right now, with the lack of a national plan, the governors are the ones that have been put in, in places of authority and that's whose authority we follow. They lay in these restrictions for us out of fear for greater spread. And regardless of what your position about the virus is, right now you're asked to conform. You're asked to let go of what you want to do for the sake of others. As believers, that should be a no-brainer because that's what we say we do. We love others as ourself. We love others as ourself. So, Yes, we could be frustrated, and yes, we chafe at limitations, but this will pass, and the quicker we conform, the quicker it will pass. So prayers to you in California and holding our breath here in Nevada and other places in this country. There's so much going on. Be kind to yourself. If you're finding it hard to concentrate, if you're feeling a wave of anxiety, do something soothing. Listen to some good music. Be consoling to yourself. Don't turn on the news. Don't listen to the radio, TV, 
don't be scrolling on your phone. Isolate yourself with God, with the divine, and ask the divine to take care of that roiling turmoil within you. You have my prayers.